two projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project an improved lightweight parameters network for strawberry flowers detection. Introduction. So in the realm of computer vision, the rapid and accurate detection of objects, particularly in images or videos is a critical challenge. So this project specifically addresses the significance of fast and precise object detection, focusing on the example of detecting strawberry flowers for applications like yield estimation and the development of pollination robots. The pivotal role of object detection, especially in tasks like pollination using robots, underscores the importance of advancements in this field. Traditional methods such as Viola Jones phase detector and deep learning approaches like the YOLO series have shown progress. However, the substantial computing power demand poses challenges, particularly for mobile devices like UAVs or robots with limited computational resources. So the project aims to overcome the challenges posed by high computing power demands by designing an improved lightweight object detection network. So a simplified backbone based on the visual geometry group that is VGG paradigm is developed to reduce the number of parameters. Additionally, an enhanced path aggregation network that is PAN architecture is employed as the detection network's neck, incorporating group convolution and skip layer connections to improve sensitivity to object position information. And the project's contributions lie in its ability to achieve highly accurate and efficient object detection on embedded devices. By addressing the trade-off between accuracy and computational efficiency, the lightweight backbone, improved pan structure, and integrated convolution and batch normalization layers aim to enhance the feasibility and practicability of object detection algorithms. And the beneficiaries extend to applications requiring object detection on resource-constrained devices, such as UAVs, that is unmanned aerial vehicles, and mobile robots, with potential impacts on fields like agriculture and robotics. Object of the project. So as I mentioned earlier, the primary objective is to enhance the efficiency of object detection. This involves designing a lightweight backbone and optimizing the path aggregation network architecture. The focus is on reducing computational complexity to enable swift processing on devices with limited resources, ensuring the algorithm's viability in resource-constrained environments. Another key objective is to implement and optimize cutting-edge object detection models, namely YOLO V5X, YOLO with convolutional and batch normalization, faster RCNN, SSD, and Retina Net. The optimization aims to achieve superior performance in terms of accuracy, speed, and adaptability. And this objective positions the project as the forefront of advancements in computer vision applications. And the final objective is to implement the developed algorithm on embedded devices, validating its practicability and feasibility in real world scenarios. Striking a balance between high accuracy and low computational demands is crucial, especially for applications involving unmanned aerial vehicles and mobile robots. So this objective addresses the need for efficient object detection in dynamic and resource constrained environments. Requirements needed to execute this project are Software requirements. Software needed is Anaconda. Primary language used is Python. Front-end framework used is Flask. Back-end framework used is Jupyter Notebook. Database used is SQLite 3. And front-end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are Operating system of Windows, Processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working models of law of work. So the first step is importing required packages. So the initial step involves importing essential packages such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, SKLearn, TensorFlow, and Keras. These form the foundational tools for data manipulation, visualization, and machine learning, creating a robust environment for subsequent tasks. The second step is exploring the dataset. So the dataset comprises images of strawberry flowers, wind turbines, tomatoes, and follows the VOC 2007 format. So in this step, tasks involve reading and plotting images from these datasets, providing a comprehensive understanding of the data to be used in subsequent model training and evaluation. 
The third step is image processing. So this step involves pre-processing images, including converting them to blob objects, defining classes, declaring bounding boxes, and converting arrays to NumPy arrays. These processes prepare the images for subsequent stages in the computer vision pipeline. The next step is loading the pre-trained model. Here, the pre-trained model is loaded and its network layers are read, output layers are extracted, setting the stage for utilizing the pre-trained model for object detection tasks. The next step is image processing again. So further image processing involves appending image annotation files, converting color spaces, creating masks, and resizing images. These steps ensure compatibility and optimization for the subsequent phases. The next step is data augmentation. So in this step, data augmentation techniques such as randomizing, rotating, and transforming images are applied. These augmentations enhance the model's ability to generalize and improve its performance on diverse data sets. The next step is installing the packages required for YOLO v5 in Colab. Here, the necessary packages for implementing YOLO v5 in Google Colab are installed, ensuring a seamless integration of the YOLO model for subsequent data processing and training. The next one is processing the data based on YOLO v5 model. So the data set is processed in alignment with the YOLO v5 model requirements in this step. This includes organizing and formatting the data to match the model's expectations, ensuring optimal training performance. The next step is training and building the model. So various object detection models, including YOLO v5x, YOLO with convolutional batch normalization, faster RCNN, SSD, and Retina Net are trained and built. Each model contributes to the exploration of different architectures to achieve superior accuracy, speed, and adaptability in detecting objects within images. So in the next step, as an extension, exploration of additional models such as YOLO v5, x6, and v8 is conducted, aiming to enhance the robustness and accuracy of the final predictions beyond the initial set of models. And as an extension again, a front-end interface is constructed using the Flask framework, incorporating SQLite for user sign-up and sign-in functionalities. So this user-friendly interface allows users to input images, triggering pre-processing and detection using the trained models. So after signing in, users input images through the front-end interface, initiating the model detection process. The given inputs undergo pre-processing. The pre-processed images are fed to train models and the model infers and detects objects, applying segmentation and bounding boxes to identify and distinguish each object within the input images. And the annotated images showcasing detected objects with bounding boxes are displayed through the front-end interface, providing users with a visual representation of the model's predictions. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. So the first algorithm built is YOLO v5x. So YOLO, that is you only look once, is an object detection algorithm that divides an image into a grid and predicts bounding boxes and class probabilities directly. So YOLO v5, an evolution of the YOLO series, enhances accuracy and speed. YOLO v5x, the extra large variant in the YOLO v5 family, is employed for its balance between accuracy and speed, making it suitable for real-time object detection tasks on resource-constrained devices like UAVs and mobile robots. The next algorithm built is YOLO with convolutional batch normalization. So YOLO with ConvBN introduces batch normalization layers after convolutional layers. So batch normalization helps stabilize and accelerate the training process. Integrating ConvBN in YOLO improves convergence during training, making the model more robust and efficient. This modification is applied to enhance the training and performance of YOLO in the context of this project. The next one is FASTA RCNN, that is region-based convolutional neural network. So FASTA RCNN is a two-stage object detection algorithm. It utilizes a region proposal network, that is RPN, to generate potential bounding box proposals in the first stage and then refines these proposals in the second stage. So it is considered here for its high precision. The next one is SSD that is single shot multi-box detector. So SSD is a single shot object detection algorithm that predicts multiple bounding boxes and their associated class cores in one pass. It employs a set of default bounding boxes with different aspect ratios to detect objects at various scales. 
SSD is known for its speed and efficiency, making it suitable for real-time applications. So its inclusion in the project addresses the need for a swift and accurate object detection model. And the last algorithm built is RetinaNet. So RetinaNet is a single stage object detection model that addresses the challenge of class imbalance in training data by introducing a focal loss. So this loss function downweights easy examples and focuses more on hard examples, improving the detection of rare objects. So RetinaNet is chosen for its ability to handle imbalanced data sets, ensuring effective detection of objects like strawberry flowers in the project data set. Now we see the comparison graphs. So this is the horizontal bar graph comparing precision scores of different algorithms. In this graph on x-axis, I have precision scores. And on y-axis, I have algorithm names. So precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions, representing the ratio of two positives to the sum of two positives and false positives. This is recall scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis, I have recall scores. And on y-axis, I have algorithm names. So recall assesses the model's ability to capture relevant instances calculated as the ratio of true positives to true positives and false negatives. And this is MAP scores comparison graph. In this graph on x-axis, I have MAP scores, that is mean average precision scores. And on y-axis, I have algorithm names. So MAP evaluates object detection performance by calculating the average precision for each class and then determining the mean over all classes. So the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions. Execution of the project. To execute this project, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So these are dataset folders in which I have required dataset on which we will train the models. This is sample folder in which I have images on which we will make the detections. This is static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. And these are model files which contain algorithm information. These files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models. These are Python main code files. And these are Jupyter source files, which contain a combination of code, graphs, and outputs all in one place. So Jupyter source file allows users to execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. And this is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. So now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I'm copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. So now use the command cd followed by space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the Python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently. So this is the local host and this is the port. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a sign up link, click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on register button to sign up. 
and if we already have an account we can directly log in by clicking on this link so as i already have an account i'm clicking on this link so here we have to provide a credentials username and password and click on login button so it has redirected us to the detection page so here we can see a detection link click on it so the aim of the project is to detect objects so we are focusing on four examples of detecting strawberry flowers tomato wind turbines and pascal dataset images so we have trained the models on all four datasets now we can make the detections on all four examples so first we'll detect strawberry flowers click on flowers link so here we have to upload any image and the application will detect the strawberry flowers from the image click on choose file button so from sample folder i am selecting this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button so we can see the application has detected the strawberry flower and we can see it has drawn a bounding box around the flower and we can also see a probability score here telling us how confident the application is about the detection click on back we'll try again giving another image click on choose file button so this time i'm selecting this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button so we can see the application has detected all the strawberry flowers and it has drawn the bounding boxes around the flowers and we can also see the probability scores calculated now click on back now we'll make the detections on pascal images click on detection link click on pascal link so now click on choose file button from sample folder we'll upload any pascal datasets image click on pascal folder so i'm selecting this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button we can see the application has detected the objects it has detected the bicycles and it has detected the cars it has differentiated them using two different bounding box colors and we can also see the probability scores telling us the confidence level of the detections now click on back we'll try giving another image click on choose file button this time i'm uploading this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button we can see the application has detected the cows and it has drawn the bounding boxes around them and we can also see the probability score click on back now we'll detect tomatoes click on detection link click on tomato link click on choose file button from sample folder we'll select any tomato images so i'm selecting this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button we can see the application has detected all the tomatoes in the picture and we can see it has drawn the bounding boxes around them we can also see the probability scores telling us how confident the application is about the detection click on back now we'll detect the wind turbine images click on choose file button click on wind link click on choose file button from sample folder we'll select any wind turbine image so i'm selecting this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button we can see the application has detected all the windmills we can see it has drawn the bounding boxes around them and we can also see the probability scores telling us the confidence level of the detection we'll try again click on back link 
click on choose file button so similarly we can upload any image and can get the detections so this time i'm uploading this image and click on open so the image is loaded now click on upload button we can see the application has detected the windmills click on back click on sign out so the conclusion here is the project's primary contribution lies in the design of an innovative object detection model featuring a lightweight backbone inspired by the visual geometry group paradigm this design choice coupled with an optimized path aggregation network architecture addresses the challenge of high computational demands ensuring efficiency on resource constrained devices the exploration of state of the art object detection models including yolo v5x yolo with convolutional batch normalization fast rcnn ssd and retina net allows for a thorough understanding of different architectures this comprehensive exploration contributes to achieving superior accuracy speed and adaptability tailored to the specific requirements of diverse computer vision applications implementing the algorithm on embedded devices validates its practicality and feasibility in real world scenarios by achieving a balance between high accuracy and low computational demands the project ensured the applicability of the developed object detection models to tasks such as those involving unmanned aerial vehicles and mobile robots the project's extension to explore additional algorithms like yolo v5x6 and yolo v8 contributed to the pursuit of more robust and accurate safety predictions the integration of flask with user authentication provides a user friendly interface enabled effective testing and validation of the developed detection system and the project's outcomes characterized by highly accurate and efficient object detection on embedded devices have the potential to impact diverse industries from agriculture where the detection of objects like strawberry flowers aids in yield estimation to robotics and uavs the developed models offer a practical solution for real world applications with constant computational resources thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in for updates on latest project videos Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.